Hey everyone, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I wanna do is show you how you can apply a bunch of cool hover effects and CSS transitions to elements in Oxygen really easily. So I came across this website, which I'll share in the description, which is a GitHub link, and it has tons of CSS transitions and animations. And I thought it might be useful to show you how you can implement these in Oxygen, and you don't even have to bother writing the CSS yourself. So as an example, a couple of the ones that you can just look at here is there's just so many different transitions for all these buttons. These don't have to be just buttons though. It can be links or divs or really anything. There's also all this cool stuff like icon bob, sync, vertical bouncing, these border transitions I really like. This is a super nice animation that kind of jazzes up the content on your page instead of just a simple kind of background color change. There's these shadows, little speech bubble guys, and then some curls as well. So what I did was went ahead and set up a couple of these on an Oxygen demo site, as you can see. So I chose this kind of fade in color from the sides, the border bottom from the center, this swell animation where the button kind of lifts up and adds that box shadow, and then this bobbing icon. Like I said, these don't have to just be applied to buttons. In fact, this one right here is a link wrapper, whereas these three are the button element in Oxygen. And then I took this same bottom border, that says bottom, bottom from center. I meant to say border, bottom from center. <laughs> but in any case, I took that same thing and put it on the links up here. So you can see even in my main menu, I have this bottom border. Now, the reason why this is useful is because some of this stuff you could recreate in Oxygen, but things like this bottom border from the center, you wouldn't really be able to create without involving this custom CSS. So what we're gonna do is go back over here real quick and on the top of this page, there's this button that says download on GitHub. We're gonna go over here to the CSS folder and then under hover CSS. It basically has all of the CSS for all of those elements that we just looked at. So I'm gonna leave this up here and then let's move into our Oxygen Visual Editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in a button element. And then on the ID of this button, I'm gonna add 25 pixels of margin below it so we can add some spacing. And then let's go pick one of those hover effects for this particular button. So I'm actually going to go back to the site real quick. I'm gonna open that back up. And then for the background transitions, let's say we'll do one slightly different from the example, but the premise is exactly the same. Let's go radial out. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. I'm gonna go back over here to the CSS, and then I'm just gonna use Control F to find radial out. And you can see there's a couple of different things we're gonna to have to copy here. So pretty much anything that has radial out on it, we're gonna to need to copy. So let's take all of this CSS up to this point, copy that, and we're gonna go back into our Oxygen Visual Editor here. Go to Manage Style Sheets, Add Style Sheet. I'm just gonna call this My Custom CSS. We can just paste that whole string in there. And then what we need to do is take this actual class name, Hover Radial Out like that, click on our button element, and then we're just gonna add that class. And now we're gonna get that radial out effect, which is super cool. Now, of course, that button being gray doesn't look super ideal, but what you can do is start to modify some of the content in Oxygen because some of it is defined in the CSS. We might have to go delete that line, but we should be able to change the text color to black. And then what about the button color? Yeah, see the button color doesn't, uh, doesn't change there because it's defined in the CSS. So what we can do is go to My Custom CSS, and then we can just look for the background. So if we just delete that line right there, then the oxygen um, button color that we set will take effect. So let's just set this to maybe like, I don't know, black looks pretty terrible, but uh, we'll just do white and then the text color with black, but of course there's no border, so you might want to set a border. Either way, there is the radial effect that we just set up. So I'm gonna name this radial effect. And then you're pretty much gonna repeat the same steps for anything else that you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add another button here. And then let's go pick another one. So maybe let's do one of these 2D transitions. So like, I don't know, which one's cool. Some of these are absolutely terrible. I would never use some of these. Maybe like this wobble bottom. That's kind of cheesy, but you might want to use it for whatever reason. So let's search wobble bottom. So this is a good example because this one has keyframes. So this is gonna be a lot of CSS here. So let's go ahead and just start here and copy all the way down to the wobble bottom right there. Copy that. And then we'll move back over to our visual editor here. In the My Custom CSS, we're just gonna add that below this other stuff. Copy this class here. 
and then on this button I'm going to set that class and now we have our wobble bottom effect like that. And once again, your oxygen changes are going to take effect. So button colors you can define in here, button hover colors if you want. And then the text color you can change, font size, all that kind of stuff. That's what's cool about this is you kind of get the bare bone CSS to actually make the animation, but the button and the content is still configurable in oxygen. That button hover color looks absolutely terrible. So I'm going to change it to something more reasonable, something somewhat close to what our color actually is and then change our text color to white. So yeah, there's our wobble bottom. Okay, so now let's do one of these ones with an icon. So let's find one of these cool ones. Icon sync away is pretty neat. Um, icon forward, that's kind of cool. That's like that divvy effect. The button has that icon forward. So let's choose icon forward. I'm gonna search that icon forward. And you'll notice that the main class is called hover icon forward and then there's also hover icon and we need to apply that particular class to the icon itself. So let's go ahead and copy this stuff in before I get too far ahead of myself. We're going to go back to my custom CSS, scroll down and we're going to add this stuff in there. And now because we need to add in an icon, we can't use the button element, but we can use one really similar to that, which is basically just a link wrapper. So under here, choose link wrapper, which is effectively just a div that already has a link applied to it. And I'm going to go back to this button real quick and add 25 pixels of margin beneath that. And then now we can start adding content inside of this link wrapper. So inside of this link wrapper, the first thing I'm going to do is add in a text element. And then I'm just going to change this to like icon movement or something like that. And then now what I can do is add in an icon element. Let's find an arrow right. So arrow right like that. I'm going to decrease this icon size quite a bit and then change it to white. And then let's set the text color to white as well. And then I'm going to go back to my structure pane. Under the link wrapper, I'm going to set the background color to our global green like that. Set the horizontal item alignment and then let's add in some margin. Excuse me, not margin, padding. So we're going to go 8 pixels top and bottom and let's go like 25 left and right. And then you'd probably want to add in some margin to the right of that text to give it some space between the text and the arrow. Okay, so remember there is two different classes that we need to add. So we have hover icon forward like this. So we need to go back into the visual editor and make sure you have the link wrapper chosen. Put that class on here, hover icon forward. And then on the icon itself, we need to type hover icon like that. Now whenever we hover over it, our arrow has that movement just like we expected, which is super cool. All right, so let's save this and we're gonna go refresh and take a look on the front end. So here is a couple of the ones that we just created. So there is the radial out effect. Here's our wobbly wobbly button and then the icon with some movement. So as you can see, it's extremely simple to set these up and you still have a lot of control inside of oxygen. Remember, like I said, all of these effects can be applied to other types of elements. So it can be a text link. It doesn't necessarily have to be a button or a link wrapper. And the beauty of putting all of that custom CSS inside of a style sheet is that you can use this across your site. If you added a code block to this page and just pasted the CSS in there, that would make it so the CSS only renders on that particular page as compared to the style sheet where it's going to do it across your entire site. So this is really simple but cool in the sense that you can make your site a little bit more interesting with not that much more effort. Definitely look at the links in the description below and if you're not familiar with Oxygen, also check out my Ultimate Oxygen course. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.